Hello everybody, it is Baldrick Sodoff here, and in today's video, you'll be seeing some Battlefield 4 1080p HD gameplay. But I don't think that's why you're here. I think you're here to uh, listen to my tips and tricks on capturing flags in game modes such as uh, Domination or Conquest or Conquest at Large. Anyway, let's get right into it. So, first, what you need are, uh, you don't really need a suppressed weapon, but what you need is stealth, guys. Uh, the reason you don't need a suppressed weapon is because once someone spots you, basically you're stuffed, so it's not really going to make much of a difference. But for this, uh, you definitely need stealth if you're trying to capture flags. So first, you need to uh, sneak into the outskirts of the map and slowly home in on the flag or objective you're trying to capture. And remember, guys, uh, this only works for large scale maps with lots of open terrain. I'll make another video on how to capture objectives or flags on more crowded maps such as Siege of Shanghai. You definitely need to watch that uh, maybe a week after I make this video. Uh, but anyway, let's continue this. Uh, as you see here, uh, I see uh, some enemies. I accidentally fire up upon them. But, I make the right choice, I run away like a coward, but, there is a reason to this. I do, do not want to die, and go and run back here and die again. What you want to do, is make sure you're capturing the flag for your team. Because your team needs areas to spawn, obviously, and you want to take that away from the enemy and give it to your own team. Uh, so anyway, basically what I'm doing, I'm camping it out, so the enemies slowly go away, and I can... Uh, eventually creep up and capture that objective because that's what this video is trying to tell you about guys uh, so anyway uh, it is always good to have a teammate supporting you when you're doing this app uh, when I was recording this I was playing solo because I don't really have too many PC friends yet because I've just sort of uh, progressed to PC from PS3 but anyway that's another story for another video uh, so, when you're doing this, you the best place to capture a flag is behind cover, and as you see, I go right behind cover here. It means you are safe from most things. If a tank comes along and spots you, obviously you're going to be stuffed, but uh, for now, I think it was a good idea. And you've got to watch the flag status when it's orange, because if it stops, that means a enemy is nearby and trying to capture the flag from you and get it back. So, what you do when that happens, uh, you sort of have to camp it out. Uh, if you want to uh, risk it a bit, you can try and have a little peek and try and uh, obviously kill the enemy. But uh, the best way to do this is to have a medic class and your teammate goes out and then you revive him if he dies. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, it sometimes was stopping there and it was really frustrating because I really wanted to capture this flag. But the main thing is that you don't get spotted by enemy vehicles and if there's an enemy vehicle just stay behind cover and another tip I'll give you guys is uh, if a lot of enemies try and capture the flag you're trying to capture uh, the, the team with the most people will obviously capture the flag so what you do you just wait in the camping spot and then you wait till the team goes away because uh, they'll think that they've captured it which they have but when they go away, you start capturing it again. So you get lots of points for just sitting there. So I think that's a very uh, good way to help your team out. Uh, everybody loves having a lot of spawn points, uh, especially me, uh, because I like to sometimes run and gun. And by the way, guys, uh, this isn't going to improve your kill death ratio at all. Uh, you, you don't really get too many kills by using this strategy. It's more for... Uh, doing it for your team or your friends because uh, they'll really appreciate it. But you can get some pretty good kill streaks when you're doing this sort of strategy because you're playing it stealth. But I wouldn't really recommend uh, opening fire like your Rambo. So don't really take that into consideration when you're trying to capture some flags on massive maps like this one here. Uh, so anyway, I think I proceed to capturing this flag. I am definitely using stealth over here look at the tank which just went past me didn't even see me can't believe it. I was pretty happy about that and then I just 
keep on going on the outskirts and make sure you don't go on the red because then it has a 10 second timer and it kills you so that really is frustrating when you're out of them it's the only way out so I think they're my general tips so I'll go over it again briefly for you guys so remember to keep stealthy have a decent weapon like the one I'm using there don't have some uh, heavy long range weapon you want something close quarters to medium range you don't want a pistol weave obviously you want something that can do a lot of damage very quickly and stealth and that and I think that's about it guys and patience as well because you need to be patient when you're when there's enemies around stopping your uh, flag capturing progress so anyway guys I'll uh, remember to have a nice day I get owned over here I think after I neutralize the flag because uh, the enemies obviously weren't too happy with that so anyway guys remember to have a nice day as I said and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe for some more Battlefield 4 content. See you later, guys.